Minasan, Okarina Sai. Today, again, honestly, one of my favorite people on the planet. My actual number one favorite seiyu. Haruki Iwata, born April 3rd, 1995 in Chiba Prefecture. Affiliated with Mirai Pictures Agency. Haruki is the oldest of three sisters and the niece of the legendary voice actor Mitsuo Iwata, who you may know as Chamba from Dragon Ball Super, Ivankov from One Piece, or Kaneda from Akira. I guess she's technically the niece of his wife as well, Rikeko Aikawa, who has a lot of Pokemon roles. A few ones would include Ash's Squirtle, Butterfree, Lapras, and Krabby. In the first grade, Haruchan began practicing baton twirling and kept at it for 10 years. She has been in the acting and theater industry ever since her third grade of middle school and has been in many Alice in Project stage productions, which are different plays based off of Lewis Carroll's books like Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. She has also been in commercials, dramas, and music videos. One is even easily accessible here on YouTube, the song Hello World by Leo Iri. It will be linked down below. So like the last few, this video will also be a different formula than usual since she only has about four roles to talk about, so I'm just going to talk about those and facts with those franchises. So let's get into it. She fell on more difficult times in university as she was unsuccessful in getting work and considered being done with the industry altogether. She decided to take a chance on auditions for Revy Starlight, and she would of course pass these auditions joining Starlight Kukugumi and voicing Mahiru Suyuzaki. However, the deadline for her university's final thesis overlapped with the showings of Revue Starlight's first live, which made for a very stressful time, but she got through it, graduating from the private school, Keio University. Haru is very clearly the favorite of one of the sound effects people who is always giving points to her no matter what she does during any game they play. He usually bullies the other girls or is very strict with awarding them points. Moika would often even threaten to beat him up for it. Wish she would beat me up. Sorry, I shouldn't be thirsting for Moipi during Haruki's video. I'll save that for her video instead. Anyway, Haru-chan, like her character Mahiru, she loves potatoes. I'm pretty sure each of the characters have at least one trait given to them from their seiyu. Again with Moipi, her character Nana likes frogs. In 2019, she was cast as Toa Hanamaki in the franchise D4DJ, a member of the best unit, Photon Maiden. She of course performs as this character during live concerts, and if you haven't already seen Photon Maiden live, well, I seriously recommend that you do. Their style is very DJ-esque, where they usually perform only half of a song and then a smooth transition into the next. It is very entertaining. Her and the other maidens hosted a variety show, Photon Maiden TV, on the D4DJ Global Channel. They were subtitled, but unfortunately they have since been deleted, but I'm sure you can still use another site to go and find them. Haru was usually the one to do battle against their guests in the Groovy Mix Rhythm game and almost always won. From what I remember, she only lost to the Little Kalili Girls and Ainigishi from Mermaid who were all dubbed too powerful for her. Sometime later, she was cast as Yuki in the Rebirth for You card game and anime. This character is very different from her other roles, being very non-talkative and just emotionless usually, but she is also part of the Assault Lily franchise. As Mai Yoshimura, yet another character she performs as in live action. Though in my honest opinion, it's honestly just Revue Starlight again with some Madoka Magica stuff going on. But she is being cast with her fellow photon maiden Risa Sumagi and the rest of the cast is honestly really good too. Big shoutouts to Rimi Nishimoto in particular. The final career thing, along with her fellow Kukugumi and for dj member Moika Koizumi, Haruki is part of the musical unit Haru Moe, a combination of their first names, debuting in 2021. They got about 10 or so songs released, their most recent single for Tari Pinocchio just came out a few days ago. There's also a music video, so go watch it. This song is actually the ending for a currently airing show, called My Stepmom's Daughter Is My Ex. And that is indeed what the anime is called. They also have a monthly live stream called Kuma Mama. Just giving me more reason to put Mama and Moika in the same sentence. I got a quick little side note here just to go on a tiny rant. Uh, I know English has a lot of stupid rules, but why is there no U in Haru Moe? But we have to pronounce it, yet when there is a U in a name like with Sasuke, we don't pronounce it. I'm sure the answer lies somewhere with the fact that our alphabets are very, very different. I actually have one more bonus career thing. I did mention that she's been in a few stage plays over the years, but uh, this one in particular, she will be portraying Ichika Hoshino in the Call or Malice stage play. This is based off a video game that I've never heard of, but the really cool thing about this is that she shares her role with her fellow Harumoe partner. Moika performed as this character in the same play last year. Literally all of her roles have video game versions where she reprises all of those characters, and everything aside from Rebirth has had live concerts. She's even been at Anisama with all of them as well. 2018 being her first time there. That was with Kukugumi, but last year's fest she actually performed every single day. Photon Maiden on the first day, then Kukugumi on the second, with Assault Lily on the final day. I've seen many, many years of this fest and I'm pretty sure she's the only person to have ever done a performance every single day. Shoutouts to her. Okay, time for fun facts. She is 153 centimeters or 5 foot even. 
which is like the perfect height in my opinion. Social media presence is only Twitter, but I have taken it upon myself to post every photo she has ever taken to Instagram. Haruki's birthday actually happens to be on her parents' wedding anniversary. She is known among her colleagues for drinking lots of mineral water throughout the day, and has even been nicknamed the Water Goddess. Honestly, if I was surrounded by all those girls all day like she is, I would also be drinking a lot of water too. Her favorite colors are white and orange, and special skills include baton twirling and apparently playing the piano, though I've never seen or heard her talk about this skill. She does not know how to swim, but she wants to try scuba diving in the future. She talks in her sleep and apparently has a hard time waking up in the morning, so she tries to have loud music as an alarm. At one point, she had Sacred World by Ray the Seelin as her alarm, since the beginning is very impactful. At one point, she also had the main theme of Inuyasha as her alarm, which is one of her absolute favorite series, by the way. She enjoys Mario Party and Mario Kart, but is terrified of horror games. <laughs> and she's actually a fan of Iris Suzuki, especially her former group known as Kiyut. Great name. There's like a hyphen between the C and the U, so I'm assuming it's Kiyut. Either way, cute name. Haru was even on Iris Annie Song Show with Moipi, singing the opening for Aero Manga Sensei. Originally sang by the pop group Claris, her and Moipi are actually really big fans of them. In particular, their work on Madoka Magica. She enjoys making sweets, as well as watching baseball. Her favorite team is the Saitama Saibu Lions. She has a dachshund, who is adorable and named Latte. She claims to have poor English skills, and notes that she is often instructed at length on the pronunciation of English words during recording sessions for Photon Maiden songs. And they have a lot of English in their songs, let me tell you. Good thing she has Hinata and Risa there to help her out. Hachan wants to visit New York one day and see Broadway. She also wants to perform a concert anywhere in America. And finally, something I noticed while trying to find pictures of her, she really likes to take pictures with her friends. I really had to go digging on Twitter for solo photos of her. And that's the ending. I really hope to see her in more series in the future. But I actually think she's way more focused on singing in stage work and not necessarily voice acting. But hopefully Harumoe will have more any songs in the future, and usually that means they will be casted in those shows. I don't really know how or why she even became my favorite in the first place, there's just something about her that I vibe with. A lot. And I really hope I can see her face in person one day. Like, even just from across the street or something. I'm not too picky about it. I'll be that psycho guy across the street just screaming her name. But for now, thank you so much for watching and listening all the way to the end. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll leave you with this clip of Haru being extremely thrilled that she doesn't have to play a spooky game. <laughs> BGM流れてるのよ、めっちゃ。流れてるのよ。今日はホラーゲームをしません。今日はメイドインマリオをします。<笑>